Welcome to the Ladybug tutorial number 4. You will need to refer to part 1 for setting up the Ladybug, but in this fourth tutorial, we'll learn how to use view related analysis functions to evaluate the visibility, such as view rows, corner kind of view, and the view analysis. So, okay, this is where we left our last tutorial. So, I'm going to pan it to the left and change the wind to visibility and give it the visibility analysis title. I'm going to come back to where we were on the right. I'm going to grab tower and the context and move it to the right. And I go to number three. There you can find three analysis tools that we're going to use today. So, first of all, grab the view rows, drop that into the space, connect the context to the context. XY plane, because the view rows uh, uses the, um, the area visible from the given viewpoint across the 2D plane of vision, you will need to create that 2D plane. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the center point of the tower and generate the XY plane and give the radius, um, you know, the size from zero to the Y size. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to make the radius as big as the, the whole context or slightly bigger. 195 meters. Uh, I'm going to drop a series of points in there to demonstrate the other you know, components. As you can see, the shaded parts are the visible corridor and the others are non-visible part of the corridor. I'm going to drop three points before I generate the next component. I'm going to move the last one into the unshaded bit so that you can clearly see where that lands you know also to give the contrast between those points i'm going to grab that cone of vision and leave the type as a zero as a human and there are a number of different types and you can change that to camera with the different type of you know the panorama views and etc for the time being i'm going to leave it as a zero which is the human vision i'm going to grab these three points and then going to connect to viewpoint and now we have to set the view direction. So to set the view direction, you need to create the vector points. So I'm going to grab the vector to point. So we know the starting point, so there are the three points. And the center point will be the tower. So grab the B to the center point. And here we get the vector that gets to the view direction. So now you see the, uh, the corner view has been generated. And this represents the side of the um, side of the person or the vision of the camera. And you can manually change the things as well, but I've just given the elevation to those, just to purely represent the human, you know, the high eye points. Um, you can also manually tweak those, you know, the the wide angle or the, uh, the the angle of the up and down and the you know, you know the the size of that cone as well. But for the time being, I'm just going to leave it as a generic human view. So I'm going to move to the third one, which is the crumb of the crop. Uh, I'm going to grab that view analysis and set that geometry to the tower. Context to the context. It goes exactly the same as the rest of the component that we used in the previous tutorial. I'm going to grab those two uh, sliders over here. I'm going to set the size of the grid as a 5 meters, 0.1 for the, uh, the distance from the base, uh, which gets close to the tower surface. The type of the points, uh, so these are the um, where you set the points uh, you know, to, to evaluate uh, the visibility and grab the human you know, the points to the viewpoints and the view weights I'm going to leave that as a default uh, just purely we don't need to tweak too much of that uh, geometry blocks the view so we want to use the context to block the view so I'm going to set the boolean to true from the false set that going and change to true going to use the generic legend bar and going to copy the boolean toggle to connect to parallel to run the process in parallel and to run it immediately you will see the maps been the color maps been generated onto the tower surface 100 being very visible zero being not visible at all so the top surface there as you can see it's been colored as a red as soon as you move it across to the side you know that sort of the color changes on the tower surface and as soon as you turn it back into visible corridor 
that surface turn into green again and you can slide up and down and see how that changes and react to those points it's very um you know it's a real-time analysis so the back side of it as you can see is dominantly red because none of those points are able to see that back side of the tower as soon as you move it across that back side turns immediately to green and the top part of that tip of the you know the tower it stays as a blue throughout the whole time you can also generate the multiple points to demonstrate how it works in you know in pan around the views of the tower um, but in that way that you'll have to change the parameters in different way but for the for the demonstration of the quick tutorial of the visibility today i think this delivers the whole concept of the of the v analysis uh, components of course you can tweak things a bit further when it comes to the legend bar with the parameters and the view location etc etc you also be able to tweak the tower to optimize the form to make it more visible it depends on what you want from the out, uh, from the outcome of this analysis i hope it helps and i'll see you next time thanks for watching